Yeah, so this is the offering. We wait for one whole year to hear from Guru Ma glorifying Guru Maharaj. And um, Guru Ma is our Guru Ma. She's also the universal mother. And when I look at uh, Guru Ma's life, to me it looks like she's on a fast track. At the age of 17, she saw Srila Prabhupada on a television. And then in a few weeks later, a few months later, she walked with a friend into a temple and said, oh, wow, this is the person I... And Prabhupada, she saw Prabhupada's picture and said, oh, this is the one I saw in the, on the television show. And then, you know, soon she was, very, very soon, actually, she, was, she joined ISKCON Los Angeles. And a few months later, Prabhupada came. And a few months later, Guruma was initiated. And then she became the Pujari of the temple. So it's really, really fast. And um, she talks about how she relished servicing, uh, serving uh, Srila Prabhupada. And one of the things that we learn from Guruma is how do you serve your Guru Maharaj without necessarily hanging around him? And um, so she didn't, you know, really, she used to cook for Prabhupada, not necessarily that she served him, right? Others would go and serve. serve. And to Guru Ma, whether she was on the altar or whether she was um, cleaning Srila Prabhupada's quarters, it was one and the same. So that's the level of the dedication that she had. And uh, one of, on one such occasion, she, she, Srila Prabhupada, she used to go and replace the flowers in the vase. And Prabhupada said that, I think they are good. You don't have to necessarily you know, bring fresh flowers every day. They can wilt and then you can change them. And I see the trait in Guruma as she guides us through all these Vyas Puchas and all these various events that she is very cautious that Lakshmi belongs to Krishna. It has to be spent very wisely. Um, Guruma, you are a source of inspiration, source of guidance to all of us. Not only do you teach us how to be a good um, a disciple, you also teach us how to be a good mother, as you are for all of them, and also teach us how to be a loving wife. I just, my, my sister in, from India, she just, every, after every Vyas Puja, she just says that, you know, Guru Ma, she's like, you know, I can't imagine, you know, I'm amazing. So, I don't want to be between you and the, good, this, on the, and the devotees over here, Guru Ma, I invite you to come uh, and say some words. And Radhika Prabhu, uh, you'd like to give her the book? So first, uh, I'll read an offering that Divyanga wrote. Dear Vaish, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. What can I say? I was a, for some reason he puts these in quotes, brahmachari in 74 when you arrived in Cleveland. I was distributing books and practicing sadhana bhakti. However, things changed in a big way with your association. Constant hearing was your mood. Whenever there's an opportunity to hear and chant, we were going out on Sankirtan and basically resting whenever possible. That drastically changed when you came. Thank Krishna. We started with a chapter of Gita, a Triya Upanishad, and Nectar of Devotion, plus singing Sad Goswami Astakam on the way to the airport every day. Thank you so much, Prabhu. I, can imagine, I can't imagine my life without my reading habit that you taught me. Then we got liberated from Cleveland Hopkins and went to Chicago O'Hare. Our scores tripled. And then he's got lots of book emojis. <laughs> we kept up the Shravanadi Jal and added Sri Brahma Samhita daily. Then they asked us to chant it on the altar while Kishore Kishori were bathing. Wow, that was nectar. And it never would have happened if not for your association. When things got weird, and there's a lot of weird emojis here, <laughs> in O'Hare, we were sent to different airports, and Philadelphia stands out. During the holidays, heavy traffic, they restricted us in the airports, so we went to the malls. Remember the roses? Still, you were consistent. Shravanadi Jal, you told me, Div, if we don't do this, who's gonna? Then we went at, Lamport, at Lambert, St. Louis, and doing 80 Gitas each daily for about seven years. So what can I say, Prabhu? How do you think someone who saves your life? 
not just once, but over and over, as many times as you have. I thank Prabhupada and Krishna every day for giving you, giving me you, my best friend, and pray I don't make offenses. Please don't kick me off the party. Read, sell, read, sell, read, sell. Srila Prabhupada. Whoever daily fights the battle of life only for Lord Krishna's sake discovers prosperity, mystic perfection, and transcendental knowledge in the palm of his hand. End quote. Vrindavan Bhajan, a million dandavats, dear friend. Om Tat Sat Hare Krishna. <laughs> My dear husband, please accept my heartfelt obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. I am honored and delighted to be able to take this opportunity to glorify an exalted Vaishnav, who I happen to have the good fortune to call my husband. A few years ago, one of my clients gave me a book that she and her husband had written. In it, they wrote about using their, quote, superpowers to follow our passions and do good in the world. As I was writing this offering, I began thinking of some of your superpowers. At the top of the list, I would put utsaha, or enthusiasm. Many times when Srila Prabhupada writes or speaks about enthusiasm, he says that determination and patience are also part of that equation. You have been faithfully serving Srila Prabhupada for nearly 50 years, and through the years, have you been developing spiritual blood for your spiritual body these qualities have been tested and honed. After so many years of doing your services, you make it look easy. But I, but I know that if it looks easy, it's because you have done whatever you needed to do to become expert, being steady and resolute, and by taking guidance, studying and praying for the ability to manifest within you. You tell of the time early on when you heard of a godbrother who had distributed 40 large Krishna books in a day. You also wanted to be able to do that, but didn't know how you would be able to accomplish it. So for many days, you stacked 40 Krishna books before you sat down to chant your japa and pray to become empowered to do that service. Eventually, you were able to do this and more. On the evening of November 14th, 1977, when you returned to the temple at 340 West 55th Street in Manhattan, after a day of distributing Prabhupada's books at the airport, you received the devastating news that Srila Prabhupada had departed. There were so many emotions, so many questions, but the next morning, Pragosh Prabhu, your Sankirtan partner at the time, came to you and said, we have to go out on Sankirtan, especially today, we have to go out. You've recounted how, as soon as you set foot in the airport that morning, you immediately felt the connection to Srila Prabhupada through your seva. At that moment, you became even more committed to Srila Prabhupada's mission. Over and over again, you show your love for and dedication to Srila Prabhupada with your whole body, mind, and spirit and heart. Anyone who wants to see what unflinching faith in the lotus feet of Krishna and the spiritual master looks like has only to examine your life. Not only in your waking hours, but even in your dreams, you are meditating on Srila Prabhupada and your service. In the purport of CC Adi 7.92, Srila Prabhupada writes, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur explains in his Anubhasya, quote, a person who has attracted the attention of the spiritual master by his sincere service likes to dance and chant with similarly developed Krishna conscious devotees. The spiritual master authorizes such a devotee to deliver fallen souls in all parts of the world. End quote. Srila Prabhupada set the example of the ideal disciple by abandoning all personal considerations and coming to the West at great risk in order to fulfill the order of his spiritual master. While none of us could do what Srila Prabhupada did, you have faced with determination and courage the sometimes life-threatening situations that arose in the discharge of your service. 
even after the beatings, incarcerations, insults, and degrading actions of the ignorance and envious, you didn't waver in your steadfast determination to carry out Srila Prabhupada's mission. You carry Srila Prabhupada's divine mercy in your heart, and it is this overflow that you so readily distribute to any right fruit that crosses your path. In April, we held our very first retreat with a group of European devotees in New Mayapur, France. It was a terrific opportunity for the attendees to be immersed in temple life for several days. The communities of devotees were welcoming and enthusiastic, and the seminars on Pancha Anga Bhakti and the Four Questions were well attended and received. We hope to make retreats both in North America and elsewhere a regular occurrence beginning next year. After being away from Vrindavan and Govardhan for a little over two years, we were blessed to be able to spend three weeks there early in the year. We were able to chant, read, and go on a few parikramas with a small group of devotees each day. Witnessing how your relationship with Giri Govardhan has deepened over the years left an indelible impression on my heart, thickening my own faith and desire to strengthen my connection to the Dham. You've cultivated and nurtured this relationship through steady and enthusiastic service, both within and without of the Dham. This year, as the temple was able to reopen for full programs, we all felt the joy of being together again for class, kirtans, and seva. Our community continues to grow in numbers and in services. Many devotees continue to expand their services and knowledge of the Shastra. Our youth are maturing, taking on more responsibilities at the temple and in their personal sadhana, as well in the secular world. Our hearts overflow with pride and affection for them, as well as deep appreciation and gratitude for their parents. This past year, two of our dear God brothers and your very close friends, Rajendra Nandana Prabhu and Sura Prabhu, transitioned from this world to continue their eternal service to Srila Prabhupada. Your friendship with them spanned close to five decades, and through the many changes in your lives and in the movement, creating many enduring memories. We will especially miss Rajendra Nandana Prabhu whenever we go to Mayapur. His kata, kirtans, shared realizations, and of course, his laugh. His loud, spontaneous, glorious laugh. He was a real gentleman, so humble. You shared years of seva and pastimes with Sura Prabhu, who was a real Prabhupada man through and through. He showed his love through his kirtan and BBT service. He always encouraged you and delighted in your service to the BBT. I know that you miss him, his humorous banter and inside jokes, as well as his Rathayatra kirtans. Much of your time during the pandemic, you've been working on a few books, one of which is complete and will hopefully be published by the end, com, in the coming year. You've assembled a worldwide first-class team to assist you in bringing the manuscripts to publication. In so many ways, you are carrying the wood for our beloved Guru Dave. Your services are done as a burden of love, and you bear the weight of your responsibilities with grace, tolerance, and forbearance. I literally thank Srila Prabhupada and Krishna every day for giving me such a Krishna conscious, supportive, and loving husband. You somehow or other amaze me every day. Thank you for your tolerance, your patience, your good humor, and encouragement. I know that if I can please you and continue to assist you in your service, that I am pleasing Srila Prabhupada. On this and every day, I pray that you have many more years in a strong and healthy body so that you can fulfill your many aspirations in service to Sri Sri Guru and Garanga. With love from your most fortunate wife, me. Your <laughs> I, I, just, um, I would just like to uh, thank you all so much 
for being here now. Some of you have traveled a long way to come, and it's, it's just so touching to be with you all. And uh, you know, listening to the offerings and just seeing the endeavor you made to come here, um, it's really encouraged me in my service to Prabhu because you know, husband and wife can become familiar with each other, and uh, I, it just makes it just this day helps me to really, really remember how fortunate I am because I not only have Prabhu, but he's giving me so such a lovely family that uh, I'm eternally grateful for through Srila Prabhupada, through Prabhu, and uh, I just want to thank you all. Hare Krishna. <laughs>